Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Clash with Eric. Guys, today we were playing in the AWL Town Hall 10 tournament and part of the rules of the tournament say we can't use seed machines and we can't get high level troops donated to us. And we're also not allowed to use lightning. Everybody knows that lightning is super overpowered in the game, but not everybody has it all the way leveled up to take advantage of that. And you could actually use the strategy that we're gonna show you today with lightning if you do have siege machines and you can make it even stronger. But this is the Ocho Cueco or Octo Cueco. It's eight earthquakes and eight Pekkas, and it is very, very simple to use and it crushes Bases that are rushed even more than you're gonna see today. That is just insane. But that's a that's a story for another day, guys. Let's go dive into it. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you want to help out the channel even more, then use code Eric anytime you make any in-app purchase and check out our channel sponsor for today's video, Raid Shadow Legends. So check it out, guys. I play a lot of different mobile games, but there's one game that keeps me coming back over and over. And every time I turn around, it just keeps getting better. So guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about Raid Shadow Legends. One of the things I love about this game is the artwork. Look at these character models. Every single one of them meticulously detailed. Often, I forget that I'm even playing a mobile game. And the most common way that we get these awesome champions is by opening shards. So we're going to open up three right now and see what we get. Maybe we'll get lucky. And look at that. We are lucky right off the bat. And we get Lady Atessa. War Maiden. Let's see if we can get lucky with a legendary. No, not quite. But no champion goes to waste in this game. There's a use for everybody. Raid is constantly introducing brand new champions to the game and here's some concept art of some that are coming to the game soon. Look at the details on these guys. There's nothing like this in any other mobile game. It's absolutely phenomenal and I can't wait to see what these guys can do. So guys, go down in the video description, download Raid today, and if you're a new player, you're gonna get 100,000 free silver, 50 gems, 10 mystery shards, and this awesome rare champion, Slasher. Guys, those bonus rewards are only going to be available for the next 30 days. So regardless of whether you play on mobile or PC, your rewards will be waiting for you right up there. So good luck, and I'll see you there. All right, guys, I appreciate you listening to that word there from our sponsor. It does a lot to help out the channel if you go check it out. But guys, it's time to go check out some P.E.K.K.A. Smash. Look at the quake value here, all through the base here. It's, it's fantastic. Yeah, you're not wrong at all. And it opens up everything, and it's an open base to let the P.E.K.K.A.s just weave in and out. Oh, I really like that. Oh, I like I it. Do that. I see and it's do safe that. too. I really like that. We're doing it. All right, guys. Ocho Quaco, Octo Quaco, whatever you want to call it. We got eight earthquakes and eight Pekkas. And we're going to go smash this. No siege machines. We got some bowlers in my CC. We got a couple of wizards to tag along. And we're just going to just throw P.E.K.K.A.s all along the edge of the space. So we're not going to put them all down initially. I think I'm going to put like six down initially. Let them start to work their way in. Then I'll add a couple onto the sides. And then we'll uh, let the wizards follow behind and let the bowlers smash through the middle. We got one rage to work in. And uh, that hopefully it's enough. So let's go do it. Ready? We're going live in three, two, one. There we go. Oh, he's in. There we go. Let's start off with the quakes. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Hmm. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like a jump would have been maybe better, but yeah, okay. What? It's like a jump, maybe. You should jump in you. You know what? You know, I'll shut up. I'll shut up. Okay, we got a hand CC. Okay. I'm trying to freeze up both of these heroes together. I like that. That's some good freeze value. Pop in my king. We're going to this multi. Right, where is my queen? Take, chasing down uh, hound pups. That's annoying. Throw a wizard out here to go with this P.E.K.K.A. Another one on this side. We're going to wait until the baby dragons are getting the tanking they need. Then we'll drop them in. They can start working their way in. Throw another one up here. And uh, the queen's still alive and healthy. The bowlers have not really cooperated, but they're doing fine. If dragon's doing good work on the backside here, queen's gonna step up. She'll grab that air defense and uh, grab that expo as well. Pop our ability, get that uh, wizard tower down. And we got one peck alive over on the left side. If that queen can escape to safety, then we're looking really good here. Uh oh, we're not gonna get it. 
Oh, does Baby Dragon get that? If the Baby Dragons get the Arch Towers down, then we got the triple, guys. This one's really important. Right here, right here. Got it. Got it. How did that work? Oh, baby, it's a triple. Let's go. There's no way that works. <laughs> oh, it did work. Oh, it did work. Let's go. Let's go. GG. <laughs> All right, guys, we got the three star in the tournament. That was a lot of fun, but we're going to go do some friendly challenges now. And we're just going to show you a little bit more demonstration on how to make this attack work. So, guys, let's go dive into it. Oops, I just double stacked to pack this over there. That's all right. Wait to place the wizard down, so. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, where's my hill? There it is. I was a little late on the hill. You're right. Oh, the wizards are doing better on the outside this time. Oh, I think we yeah, got it this time. This is a triple. Yeah. There we go. All right, let's try this base here. Let's see if this works. All right, so we have two single infernos. And we'd prefer to get both of them down right away. The sooner we get the infernos down, the better when we do this style of attack. So I think we're just going to open up right around this uh, gold storage here. We're going to open up right on the back side of it. And we're going to try to clip off one of these infernos while we're at it. To, like try to get the damage on it. So one, two, three, four. And then uh, another one on the other side here. One, two, three, four. Okay. Okay, get these to go in. Throw a couple of wizards down. And let's freeze up that uh, single with the enemy queen. Freeze it up. Up and king. Poisoning the CC. And I guess we can throw in baby dragons in a second to start to funnel out. Queen will grab that uh, single inferno. Looking good. We need a wizard to come over here and join these. Heck us. Get them into the walls here. Baby dragons are just going to hold for now. There's nowhere really to put them in yet. I want the queen to take the air defense over here. We'll drop a baby dragon on the bomb tower. I don't know if she's going to get it for a while. It'll take her a minute, but I think she'll eventually get it. She might. Okay. Just the opening there. Okay. And she's going the other way. Perfect. Let's throw one over here to try to get into this cannon. And we still have a queen ability. There's another air defense. This one's looking pretty good. Two single infernos. And I think we got it. Uh, let's go ahead and pop the queen as soon as she's under two arch tower fire. Uh, she's under the fire from all those defenses there. So pop her ability. And hopefully some of those pekkas pick up the tanking before she goes down and she'll she'll escape there she'll go over and pick up that cannon that's a triple right there this is the kind of base these boxy bases work really really good for this attack here and look how many packs we have left over like this attack when it works it crushes like you either end up with no pekkas or you end up with a billion pekkas and a and like tons of time left over kind of wild right boom all right, here we go. Here we go. So, two multi infernos on one side of the base here. We're our, we're gonna charge right into them. We we'll go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're a little bit light on the right side. Let's go add one more there. And wizards down behind. Back in the middle. Bowlers. 
And we're going to need to rage relatively fast into this. Uh, we're going to rage now. Let's uh, freeze all that up. Get the damage off of these bowlers mainly. We're going to pop this king soon. No, we're right. We're right. Hey, okay, where's this lava hound? Right there. going to pop soon. There we go. Pops are covered. We're going to baby dragon on the outside here. We're going to collapse in and keep the pecus alive. And maybe we get these babe or these pups off of them. The wizard's got it under control. This is looking good. Yeah, if you can get both of the infernos early in the attack there, then you're generally going to do really, really well with this attack here. This is a really strong attack when you don't have siege machines. If you're going against uh, any kind of non-max base, any rushed base, then you can probably even do this without CC troops. It's actually really, really strong. It is a little bit expensive with the D with all the earthquakes, but since you're not actually using any Dark Elixir for the Pekas, it's actually a relatively cheap army, honestly. But look at that. That's a triple. Easy day. Easy day. Solid attack. All right, guys, we're specifically testing out the strategy without siege machines. If you want to try the strategy out with siege machines, then definitely think about bringing in another rage and heal for the Pekas to go to the inside and have them follow a wall wrecker instead. And maybe even a couple of freezes. You can bring some lightnings to zap out some of the major defenses. Remember, it takes four lightnings and an earthquake to take down an inferno. Those are huge to make this attack successful. So definitely think about that. Or you could throw in a siege barracks and do it exactly like we're doing it here and just throw some hogs instead of bullets. It's all really powerful and get creative with it. Have a good time. Enjoy the game. And that's going to be it for today, guys. Make sure you hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. And of course, go down to the description video or the pinned comment and check out Raid Shadow Legends today, the sponsor for today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.